Hey folks, Blade Blight here. Uh, I'm here today to show you a little bit about using this uh, IC layout program. I don't anticipate making too many of these types of videos. I'm obviously known more for uh, computer games and stuff like that. I'll, I'll probably stick to my gaming videos, but I'm branching out a little bit. And this is a little how-to tutorial on how to use uh, LASI, L-A-S-I, which stands for um, Layout Software for Individuals as opposed to the layout packages for big companies, which cost tens of thousands of dollars. Uh, it actually may be pronounced lazy. I think some people pronounce it lazy, but I intuitively say Lassie, although that might be confused with the dog Lassie, which I'm clearly not talking about. But anyway, uh, So here we go. This first video will be basically just showing you how to uh, view things, how to kind of move around and change what you're looking at. Um, I should probably first though explain how to get here. What you want to do is after you install Lassie or Lazy, uh, there will be an option in the start menu for tutor or tutorial or something like that. And if you click on that, it'll prompt you with a list uh, that'll look kind of like this. And you'll want to uh, you want to choose the op amp option at the bottom there, and that'll get you this view. This is basically um, all of these things here are different parts of. Um, of uh, the op amp and the, the op amp item down there near the bottom is the kind of culmination of all those different parts put together. So um, the first thing obviously is just to pan around and you can do that using the arrow keys. If you use the you know left, right, up, down cursor keys on your keyboard you can move around like that. You can also achieve something similar using these buttons up here. You can you know go uh, left like that. Funnily enough um, if you hold down the control key on your keyboard, you can make smaller movements like that instead of moving it like half a page over and out moves in smaller increments. But funnily enough, it doesn't work with the keyboard. I'm holding down control and if you press the... Actually, now it's not doing anything. Previously when I tried this, it would move it, but it wouldn't move it in small bits. It would just make huge jumps like that. That's weird. Or maybe I just imagined it. But yeah, control clicking to move it in smaller increments only works if you click the mouse on these buttons at the top here. So there you go, that's how you pan around. Pretty straightforward, right? Uh, these other buttons here also control your view. The fit button is probably the most useful one. It basically just uh, fits everything to the screen. So let's say you move way off and you have no idea where you are, just hit fit, and it will just automatically fit everything back within the window. Center also, I believe, does something similar. Uh, if you move off and then, actually, what does center do? Weird, you know, I have no idea. Ignore that. Use fit instead. Center is stupid and should die. Um, expand. Ex obviously, you know, expands your view. So if you want to kind of zoom out and get this fifty thousand foot view, then you can do that. And zoom allows you to select an area to zoom in on. So like, let's say I want to look at this region here. I just click like so, and there you go. We zoom in on it. Now we see this kind of green track thing here. And last is basically uh, it's like an undo. Uh, it restores your last drawing view, so basically it's, it's kind of like an undo button for your view. It takes you back to whatever you were looking at before if you do something funny to mess up your view. Uh, and draw here just redraws. Occasionally if you're working with this program, uh, stuff might not get rendered properly, and then you can just click on draw and it just redraws everything like that. Pretty straightforward, right? Okay, that's pretty much it. Uh, there are some other buttons here at the top, most of which are not too terribly important to the actual functionality of the program. You might use them for saving or loading stuff. I probably won't talk about them very much. Uh, Lassie does have a pretty decent little help system, including a tutorial actually built into it here. You can click on the help button here to get help, which is nice, I guess. Uh, but we'll be focusing more on these buttons here on the right-hand side. Notice how it says menu 1 at the top. You can actually, uh, if you click the right mouse button, which is what I'm doing now, you can swap between the two menus. There are two menus with slightly, some of the options are slightly different on menu 2. Some of the options are the same, like these buttons here don't change, but some of the buttons like these here do change. So, and you can also left click on this button up here if you want. And I have no idea why that's taking so long to do, but oh well. Um, what else? That's pretty much it for moving around. You know, you now know how to pan and zoom around. Uh, what you'll also want to know is how to change what's shown. This part isn't too complicated. This is just an op amp. It's not too terribly complicated, but still you might want to turn views off and on. So what you do is you click on the view button down here, and this shows all the different layers. So like, let's say, for example, I'm tired of seeing these blue 
kind of hash marked squares. These are actually the, this is the metallization layer. Let's say you just want to get rid of that, turn it off and click OK, it's gone. Or let's say that this weird brown color is annoying me. You can uh, go back to view, turn off that layer, and there you go, it's gone. Uh, I should probably turn those back on uh, because I'm also going to demonstrate how to change the color of something. Let's say you don't like the color and you want to change something. That is done with the ATTR button, which um, is basically attribute, I guess. Uh, so you get a nice little window like this. And um, so like, let's say I want to change those blue hash things and make them a nice pink color. There we go. And you can also change the hashing so that instead of being like that, they're a solid color, like so. There we go. Oh, that's going to look horrible. I didn't mean to do that for all of them. I just meant to... Oh dear, is there a way to undo that? You know, I'm not sure there's a way to actually undo the... Uh, color schemes once you change them. Oh my goodness, that looks horrible. I did not mean to do that. Whoops. Uh, do, 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 do. How do we change that? Do I just go back to... Oh, just hit no fill. And now they look very Spartan because they were... Okay, I did that wrong. Uh, you'll probably want to... <laughs> you'll probably want to... Uh... Oh, did I fix it now? Oh, kind of. They're kind of back how they were before. Okay, I see. So these are actually toggles. They look like buttons that you click on, but they're actually toggle on off functions. You can change this layer back to that nice blue color it was before. I think that's it. Yeah, that looks right. And this, wasn't this brown before? Yeah, I think it was, but oh well. Otherwise it looks pretty much the same. So there you go. I mean, you you'll, you can play around with this more if you want to change the colors, but there that's how you do it. This, this whole screen is basically just to change the colors of each layer. Uh, in a later video, I'll probably explain exactly what each layer is. Uh, basically, Lassie by default uses eight layers, which is kind of cool, but I'll, I'll explain what those layers are in a later video. Uh, the last thing I do want to show you, though, is how to show just one layer, which is done with the LDRW, or Layer Draw button up here. Let's say I only want to see uh, this green stuff. Let's say I'm really curious about that green stuff. I want to know what that is. There you go. There's very little of it, actually. There's just... Uh, just that little bit. Let's say I want to look at a different layer, like the, uh, I don't know, layer 4, the base layer. There you go, that shows you only the stuff on that layer. So that can be useful to highlight if you, there are a lot of layers overlapping and you have a hard time seeing something, you can just isolate one layer and see everything that's in that layer. Pretty simple, right? And then if you want to show everything again, then you just click click on draw again and boom, it uh, redraws the entire entire cell. I should probably, uh, I guess I'll go ahead and explain what a cell is. Um, basically, a cell is a building block of a chip. Like, if you look down here in the lower left, see these uh, four rectangles in a row that are pretty much identical to each other? Those are actually transistors, and, th and that's basically, each of those is one cell. Uh, a cell is kind of like... Um, this isn't a perfect analogy, but it's kind of like, it, it usually the cell is like, like one capacitor or one resistor or one transistor. You can think of it almost like one component. Obviously, when you're designing a, a chip with millions of transistors on it, you're not going to draw each transistor individually. Instead, each transistor will you know, be compartmentalized as a complete unit, and that's one cell. Uh, a cell is just basically you know, anything that is a logical building block to use to build up your chip. So. I hope that makes sense. If not, you'll figure it out. And uh, if you click on this list button up here, this shows all the cells that went into making this op amp. So most of these are transistors. We have four different types of NPN. Uh, actually, this is just a schematic, but we have three different types of NPN transistors, a PNP transistor, some resistor stuff, uh, etc. So, you know, all of these are cells. So that might give you some idea of what makes sense to use as a cell in your design. Anyway, that's it. I think uh, I think that's all. So you, you now know how to pan and zoom around. You know how to change the coloring of each layer. You know how to change which layers are shown. And that should be enough to get you started. All right, folks, I will make more videos about Lassie or Lazy in the future. And I will see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.